Hi, I'm Bruce Wallace, and today I'm going to prepare for you a hollandaise sauce, which is a classical French sauce uh, known as a mother sauce because you can make lots of other sauces from it. And what I propose to do is to show you how it's simple and also kind of magical. So let's go. These are the ingredients we need to make hollandaise sauce. We have clarified butter, salt, cayenne pepper, about a tablespoon of water, and a tablespoon of lemon juice and three eggs and don't worry if you break the eggs they're going to get broken anyway what we do is we first start by putting the eggs into a large bowl and I'm just going to grab a spatula here get all the eggs out And we add the lemon juice and the water and that's when we start to whisk. Okay. So we start with some barely simmering water and put our bowl on top of it and the key here is to whisk quickly and not make too big of a mess because the eggs are going to cook and you want to keep whisking it because if we don't whisk constantly and quickly, we're going to end up with scrambled eggs in our bowl. And we don't want to make a sauce out of scrambled eggs. You can see they're starting to come together. And this is the part where I kind of think it's a little bit magical or a little bit like alchemy. Because you start with eggs and water and lemon juice and a little heat. And it starts to turn into this thick, bubbly liquid. And it starts to get pale. And it's just the application of heat it really turns it into something special. And it's gonna take a little while. The reason we added the water is so that it does take a little longer and it helps to keep the eggs from curdling. And the lemon juice helps to tighten up the proteins in the egg and give us a nice um, smooth finish. And you can see it's starting to come together before our eyes. And what we were looking for is when we pull our whisk out, we want it to be kind of like ribbons, and it's not quite there yet. It's getting a little hot on the bottom, I can tell, so we need to take the bowl off a little bit, maybe turn the heat down, and we put it back on, and keep whisking. And there, it's now really starting to thicken. And not quite. And now we've got our ribbons. So we pull it off, turn off the heat, bring the bowl back over. So we have our cooked egg yolks and now what we want to do is incorporate this butter into the egg yolks and we'll need our bowl to stay still because we don't have three hands. So what we'll do is take a wet towel and tuck it around so that the bowl stays still on the countertop. And then we want to drizzle our butter in very slowly. If we pour it in too quickly, it'll separate. So we want it to go very slowly. And what's happening is the butter is emulsifying with the proteins in the egg white. And basically what that is, is they are combining into one solid mass as opposed to staying apart because generally when you have fats or oils or butter, they like to stay apart from other things. So the whisking here is kind of incorporating some air that helps the fat and protein stay together. And we don't want to get down to too much of the solids in the bottom of our pitcher here. Those are the milk solids and we don't want those incorporated. Just the your butter. Okay, and that's about it. And there we have a hollandaise. And it pours out nicely. Okay. okay, we've got our sauce. Now let's season it a little bit with some coarse sea salt and about 
dash of cayenne pepper. And you don't have to put the cayenne pepper if you don't want to, if it's, you know, if the, you think it might be a little spicy, but it does add a little oomph to it. And there we go. Hollandaise.